Malaysia aims to become 100% self-sufficient in milk by 2025. While having the right breed is key to improving the cattle yield, more needs to be done to help small farmers to jump on the milk wagon. Melissa Go has more from Bangi, just outside of the capital, Kuala Lumpur. These cattle are crossbreeds of Holstein Frisian, known as the world's highest producing dairy cow and heat tolerant Sahiwa cattle from Pakistan. They are said to be best suited for the hot and humid weather in Malaysia. You don't need to spend a lot on air conditioning or if the breed is right, right? See the tags at the cows, right? It's actually an RFID tag. We monitor them using our dairy plan software. We t t track them, how well they do, how, many, how much milk they produce a day, uh, how many times they go to the clinic, for example, do they get sick often? And more importantly, uh, what's their fertility rate? Barns are constantly ventilated with built-in water sprinkles to reduce the heat. While soothing music is piped in to help the cows relax. Now, every evening without fail, what these cows look forward to is to be able to roam freely and graze with others before their next milking session begins. First, the cows take a long shower to wash off the mud before lining up for their turn at the milking parlour. The waste is treated and ploughed back to fertilise the grassland in line with sustainable farming practice. Farm Fresh was started over a decade ago with 60 cows, now has 10,000 cows. The journey hasn't been easy. In the early days, it was very difficult to get people to, to even taste the milk because people have the conception that, oh, Malaysian milk, or for example, I want Australian milk. In Malaysia, consumption for fresh milk has been averaging 8% growth since 2010. It needs at least 30,000 cows to meet growing demand as children are encouraged to drink fresh milk in school. And consumers' dietary preferences are also changing, with more people opting for fresh milk instead of condensed milk. For starters, the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security is offering a 20,000 ringgit or 4,500 US dollars grant for young agripreneurs. I encourage farming where the cow or sheep, they, they not enough money to grow up. We will find in that. We work together with the Agro Bank. The Agro Bank, we want like a farmer's bank in Thailand, not the only for the profit oriented, but must go for the service oriented. But more needs to be done for small farmers that were badly hit by the pandemic. It was a huge loss this time. No shops opened the other, that time. We could not go out for delivery also. Customers also don't want to come out. That time was very, very bad. So we even had to sell a few cows. Getting a bank loan is easier said than done, with many banks unwilling to lend for livestock business. Currently, less than half of about 80 million litres of milk consumed yearly are produced locally. The rest is imported. Melissa Go, CNA, Kuala Lumpur.